Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Clash on Clashington. We hope you enjoy the brand new intro we made for Clash, and what better way to make the month of May merrier with some more Clash cards. Kicking it off at number one, we have Bearded Basher. Essentially a smaller version of Tiptozer, Bearded Basher is granted cover with the ability to be unaffected by your opponent's basic events and basic circumstances. Just make sure to buff this guy up soon after it enters the field. At number two, we have Big Brawler. An aspiring lad who only gets stronger with the bigger baddies your opponent may have. Big Brawler is a great comeback against decks that run tougher minions like orcs. This guy is just another example that size, or level for that matter, isn't everything in Clash. At number 3, we have Buffkins. Buffkins is a unique minion indeed. It may start off with 10 buffiness, but investing enough power into Buffkins will provide great rewards. As long as you're willing to share the buff you love as your playstyle, Buffkins makes a great addition. At number 4, we have Halting Clinkmail. This little tinker toy will come tremendously in handy if you're in the dumps in a Clashington. By making it unconscious, Halting Clinkmail can make a Clash a stalemate instead. Remember though, a stalemate does not mean the Clash ends in a tie. It simply means that the Clash needs to be called again in the future, but at least it gives players time to reorganize. At number 5, we have Mr. Jack. Another protector of things, Mr. Jack can negate an instance of buffy damage simply by discarding it from your hand. Even if you decide not to use this ability, Mr. Jack is still stable as a level 2 minion with 25 buffiness. At number 6, we have Roulette Watch. Perhaps one of the most quirky cards in the set, Roulette Watch provides a variety of different effects depending on how many Clashingtons are still active. The main incentive of this card? The longer you wait, the better the ability. At number 7, we have Sweating Sun. Want to deal some buffy damage and are willing to take up circumstance slot because of it? Sweating Sun is what will make everything a damage spree. Although Sweating Sun may provide big opportunities for damage, be warned, the buffy damage goes both ways. At number 8, we have Teeny Genie. It may be weak for its level, but Teeny Genie can let you fetch a card of your choice from your deck at the cost of making it unconscious. Be careful though, if you don't use the card you search for by the end of the turn, it gets discarded. At number 9, we have the Gobplex. The gobs may be elusive, but they also know a little about dealing with bigger baddies. The gobplex has the potential to deal large amounts of buffy damage, and if you know how to get actions fast, the cost of returning the chosen gobs to your hand will feel minimal. And finally, at number 10, we have War Meow. This monthly update has featured plenty of level 1 minions, and with this surprise event, you can bring them out even faster. Allowing you to search your deck for two level 1 minions and playing them on the field, War Meow is great for getting that final push in a Clashington. Still, the minions you choose each lose 5 buffiness, and you lose your action during your next turn, so choose wisely. We hope you guys enjoy these 10 brand new cards, and as always they will be uploaded to the Dropbox upon release of this video. The first set is almost complete, and we would like to thank everyone who has been part of the journey so far. Make sure to keep a lookout for other potential videos in the next monthly update, which will be up in early June or so. Until then, we wish all of you Clash Commanders out there the best of luck, and keep on clashing.